everyone uh, welcome to this cypress tutorial in this tutorial we will learn what is cypress what are the core features how this cypress is different from the their competitors and what are the core features so this would be a series of tutorials and we will go step by step so that you can learn the cypress properly so let's begin with our first session which is introduction on to cypress so what is cypress Cypress is a next generation node based end to end testing framework and usually it is compared with the Selenium. However, the architecture of Selenium and Cypress are completely different. Selenium uses the APIs to interact with the browser, right? Whereas Cypress is sitting in your browser and execute the tests into your browser. So that's the reason Cypress is more faster and easier to work with. Right. And that's how you can write the more reliable test because you're sitting into the browser instead of you're using the APIs to automate your web applications. Okay. So who can use the Cypress? Cypress is for both developers and QA automation engineers. They can, they can both use Cypress to automate different applications. Now what you can automate using the Cypress. So you can do end to end test. You can do indication test. You can do unit test with a single framework and you can automate anything that runs in, into the browser. That's, that's really great about the Cypress. So you, you get all these strings into the one framework that is Cypress. Now, what are the core features of Cypress? The first one is that the time travel. So what is time travel? So whenever you execute your scripts into the Cypress, it takes the screenshots as you run your test and map those screenshots with your steps. So whenever you go to your scripts, go to your executions, if you click on any step, it will show what was the screenshot and it has both options. So before your action performed and after your action performed then the debugging is quite easier. You don't need to guess about your failures because you have access to developer tools or similar tools in the Cypress. So we will look into these features step by step practically in our upcoming sessions. One of the good thing I like about Cypress is about automatic waiting. So if you have used Selenium, what happens in the Selenium is that you need to insert or you need to provide different kind of a weights like implicit weight, explicit weight in order to sync your scripts. As Selenium is working on the using the API, so you need to sync all the things. Here, what happens is that as Cypress is sitting in your browser, so it will automatically do all the waiting for you. So you don't need to provide any kind of weights into the Cypress. So this is one of the great features of the Cypress. Now we have few more uh, features. So the first one is that spy, stub and clocks are available. So now what you can do is, is that you can control the behavior of functions. You can control the behavior of your server responses and timers. And that's how you can mimic these things and write your test. Then we have a network traffic control. We know that in Selenium 4, Selenium has implemented this feature. Now in Selenium 4, you can also control or access to the network tool and you can use those. In Cypress, this is the built-in feature. So you can create control steps. You can interrupt the calls. You can see the network tab. You can do all the stuffs on the developer tool. Then we have screenshots and videos. This is one of the very good features. So when you are working as a QA or as a developer, what you want to do is that you need to provide an evidence of the failures, either in terms of screenshots or in terms of the videos. So you don't need to write an additional code to, to you know, generate the screenshots or videos. So in Selenium, you have to write a separate code so that you can take the screenshot on the failures. But this is a built-in feature in the Cypress, so it will automatically create the screenshots and videos 
and you can utilize those for the bug reporting. Then cross browser testing, you can run your Cypress on different browsers like Firefox, Chrome. So Chrome family is basically including the Edge and Electron. So now Electron is basically a headless execution. So if we talk about the Selenium, so in Selenium we have phantom.js or headless HTML unit driver in order to execute without opening the browser. So here Cypress is using the Chrome headless option, which is Electron, in order to execute your scripts in the non UI mode or without opening the browser. And this will really help in, you know, when you are working with the continuous integration and the pipelines. So you might not need to open your browser because it will take time. So in those cases, if you want to, you know, optimize your pipelines and continuous integration, so this will really help when you're working with the headless option. So this is uh, the whole idea about the Cypress right now. We have seen some different and unique features of Cypress in this introduction. And we will move towards its website now and see how Cypress looks like. So let me go to the browser here and let me type cypress.io. So this is their official website. So if you can see that this is fast, easy, reliable testing for anything that runs into the browser and you can see they are running all the things in their browser. So, so whenever you execute your scripts, so you might not be getting what is happening here. So we'll learn these things in our upcoming tutorials. But right now, just to understand this thing is that we have steps on the right side. So as soon as the Cypress is executing steps, you can see those steps here. And on the right side of this panel, you can actually see the actual execution. So, and again, so you, you have a different options. So this is, we have a Cypress test runner, we have a Cypress dashboard. So we will see how these can be used while you're automating your test. So usually we will be using test runner so we can write a server test, we can schedule, we can record the test using the Cypress dashboard. These are the core two options available right now in the Cypress. So this is uh, all about Cypress right now. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much. See you in the next tutorial.